I'm Tamara from Fashion Binge. And I'm Amber from Beauty Blogging Junkie. And we're here to show you some of our favorite beauty products of 2010. It's kind of like Oprah's favorite things, but without people's head ex heads exploding and people freaking out in the audience. And anyone who cares, really. Right. That's the major difference. It's really difference. just for us. Otherwise, we're having, it's exactly the same. Otherwise, it's the same. We're having a glass of wine and we're enjoying some beauty products from the year. So, let's get started. Yeah. Tamara's going to go first. Oh, okay. I'm going to go first. Okay. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite products that I discovered this year is Paul and Joe Under Eye Concealer. Um, and I have like battle wounds under my eyes. Like I could pack my, I could pack like my entire wardrobe under the bags in my eyes. And I found that this stuff works really well and it doesn't get all like clumpy and clotted and disgusting. Um, it's really light and... I really love it. I just used some on a zip that I was growing on my nose, unbeknownst to Just me. in time for us to do and this I video. Also, right, it works under eyes and other places. But I love it for under eyes. I use it every day. Okay. Okay. Um, my first product is by Tokyo Milk, and it's their Bon Bon Shea Butter Hand Lotion. And this is my favorite scent. The one that I have is the Gin and Rose Water. And I've been, like, creepily collecting every single Gin and Rose Water thing they have, like, from candles to perfume. Love I love it. It's, it's like just what I want to well smell documented. like. It's well-documented. Yeah, it's, like, all I want to talk about. And um, Tokyo Milk's sister brand, Love & Toast, has, a, like, a less expensive version of the same thing. Um, but I actually really like this one because it's really pretty. Look at that. And I like how it looks like art paints. It like, does. people who know how to, like, paint fancy things always have, like, cool so art student paints that look like this. This is true. beautiful, obviously. It's gorgeous. And it's a big, I like how big it is. I actually don't like to keep it in my purse. You can just put it in your purse. But, but you, you actually purse. can't put it in your purse because it's too big to put in your purse. But it's nice to keep it home on your I mean, table. you technically could put it in your purse. Like, you no. could, but, like, if you're like, going to these people aren't going to come to your house and, like, take it out of your purse. But, right, it's a, little, it's a little bulky for every day. It's bulk. Um... Okay, this is my new favorite conditioner. I obviously have curly hair. This is my natural hair. I never blow dry it. I don't straighten it. So except for today. Except for, well, I just straighten it. But yeah, I use the blow dryer for the first time of 2010 to like expedite the drying process. But um, I go through lots of conditioners and I'm constantly testing conditioners. Tell them your secret about how you just condition. I don't use shampoo. Like yeah. if, you re if you read that story in the New York Times, like I could have told you that three years ago. I don't use shampoo because it really just tends to just dry your hair out. And when you have curly hair, it's very dry to begin with. Very true. As most curly haired women or guys can tell you. So um, I just use a metric ton of shampoo almost every day, or of conditioner every day. And this is my favorite. It's C.O. Bigelow. Um, Seo Bigelow Apothecary, and it's protein-rich conditioner for dry, damaged hair, and it smells like cranberries. It smells yeah. so good. Um, I don't want to shoot it out my nose, but that would have been funny. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, like, very tart and sweet, and the best thing is it's only 12 bucks. Like, I would pay 112 bucks. I mean, I'm glad I don't have to, but it's fantastic. It's really nice to be so considerate. I know. I feel like it's, like, a recession buster special. So that's my favorite conditioner, um, of the year and of all time. Okay. My next thing is this Pan Panthera Ultra Flash Mascara, and check it out. It has it's the best. a panther head on it. It's like, I want to be that panther. I want to be that panther like every day. With your lashes. So, cool. so anyway, um, you open it actually on this, and the panther's really just there for effect, because when I heard about it, I was like, is the brush shaped like a panther? And then I was like, I don't oh, think that, that would be conducive. That would be the end of days, though. It would like be everything, that would be the greatest thing to ever happen in the world. It like kind of would be. You're right. That would be it. Right. What else are we going to look for? But I'm that's the second. The mascara one, like I a know. panther. Second best thing. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed now. Now I feel right. like who cares? Put it away. No one wants to see that. <laughs> but anyway, the brush is really nice. It really separates well. I actually haven't tried it out, but um, my mascara correspondent has, because I don't oh, wear yeah. mascara, because I have... Um, lash extensions. But anyway, I mean, I don't even want to give this one away just because of the oh, I just want to keep it in my makeup bag and not use it like I just, a curated museum. I also feel like if any, like, beauty brands are, are watching this, like, please make more things that yeah, look like with cats. cats. Cats are Panthers, major in 2010. Or horses, obviously. Cats. There's, There's a cat, cat over there. There's He's more. camera shy. Um, but speaking of mascaras, uh, this is my favorite mascara of the year. One of them. Um, it's MAC Oat and Naughty, um, Oat and Naughty Lash, and the colors alone, it, like, it's like everything that was great about the 80s. I know. So 80s. Glitter and pink. I know, it's so great. Um, and it's, it looks like it's two mascaras in one, but it's really cool because it's actually, it's one brush, one mascara, but they, like, have this kind of telescoping mechanism. Yeah, aperture. I just used a 50 cent word, I know. Mm. Um, so, I mean, you can use it however you want, but... You, you know, the, the advised prescribed usage is first you use the skinnier brush, which like separates your lashes. Okay, are there two different brushes? No, it, it's so cool. Like it, it took me like 10 years to figure it out. So 
it's one brush, but it goes through two different openings. Mm. It's got two different openings. And then once you're done with that, you get the oh. second opening. So the, I don't want to make a mess. One like wipes off more. Yes, like a, exactly. A see? dual wiper system. Oh, I see. And then this one just like front loads it, like just packs it onto your lashes. I'm wearing it now. Um, and I also wrote about this for NAG, um, where I write about beauty, and it's just the best, it's the best mascara. I've heard good things about that. And also, like, I, I tend to use, like, two different mascaras, and this has ameliorated that condition. It's the best. It gives you tranny lashes, which is always what I'm That's going always the for. Goal. So, Why yeah. would you have another goal? Why would you use mascara Stupid. if it wasn't to use to yeah. get tranny lashes? I want tranny everything. Yeah, me too. Great. Okay.